Hello everyone and welcome. So in this video I'll show you how to make this shrinking ability just like Alice Madness return. We will do this inside Unreal Engine 5 with the blueprints, just the blueprints. Okay, so let me pause and go to the editor. I already made an input action. If I go back in the actions, I made an IA shrink and hook that back to my input mapping context and assign the F keyboard. Okay, so now when I say I shrink, it will pop up in the third person control. So you can make this, he's shrinking, so I'm playing with his scale. So I say set scale 3D, set actor scale 3D. Now I want to set him, for example, 0.4 to 0.4 and 0.4, okay? and copy and let me copy and paste that return to one his default and I need on start I make a flip-flop okay I need to make a flip-flop okay so let me compile and go I made this thing so if I go and play I can go through so if I hit F on the keyboard now I'm small and tiny I can pass through just like Alice and play but if I have hit F again now I am going back to my position so I, I will leave this uh, as an exercise for you so you need to make another check so you need to make a line trace if you hit something okay let, let me do that why not let's do line trace my channel okay line trace my channel where the position get actor location actor location and it will start from the actor location and i need the up vector let me check and see get up vector get actor up vector please now from this i need to make a distance that i need to check from his up vector so let me multiply that by a float <clears throat> and i will change the float to about 1000 maybe and then i will add that and make my entry so the actor symbol let me make this for duration actor is ignore self it's also so uh, and just in case now if i didn't hit anything then scale me back so if i hit something if there is a scale if there's a line trace and the line trace has been successfully been traced don't do anything if it's not not anything has been hit go be go make me back to that scale okay so let me compile and play let's me f if i press f again i make the line trace and it's okay let me go back and do f i can't because i under the table okay so if i now go back and hit f i am no trace and i can do my thing okay so I can scale up if uh, if the trace has been successfully hit. So I need to make a check. I am not beneath something else. So okay. So you can make that as a smooth. You can make this as a smooth. You can do this. For example, you can say can shrink. And let me do this can shrink so let me set that copy paste please copy paste when i press on that make him yes he can shrink when he's completed he's no longer can shrink and we will do this basically on event tick come on tick because i need some smoothness so i will go copy this and paste now I will do this V enter because I want to something to smooth from 
get actor location. Uh, sorry, not actor location, get actor scale. Get actor scale 3D to this 0.4. Maybe you can make that as a variable, it's up to you. I make it 0.4. And from delta time and get world delta seconds. And from the interrupt speed, you can basically multiply that by, for example, 100. It's up to you, it's the shrink speed. And hook this and say on every tick, now say, please, can I shrink to this? Okay, let me copy and paste and do this. And instead of 0.1, I return him back to 1. Okay, so on every take he's listening, can he shrink? By default, let me compile, he's false. So when as soon as I trigger that, he will shrink with this move. So let me go and play and press F on the keyboard. Now I'm shrink. As soon as I release, it will be just like this. Okay. But also, I need to make a line of trace. Okay? I need to make this line of trace. So, uh, let me copy that. Why not? Let me copy that. And do this. And instead of that, do hook this up before I make my scale. And sorry, let me first of all check. If I didn't hit anything, then return me back to the scale, to the default scale of 1, okay? So let me compile and play now. I do this. If I hit, release my mouse, I can scale because I'm hitting something. So as soon as I released, I am enabled to scale back. So this is how you can make, let me turn off this direction for none compile and this is how you can do this by smooth so if I press F with a smooth if I release my keyboard go back okay so it's up to you if you want to do this on tick or you want to do this on as a flip-flop thing but most important thing you need to make a line of trace okay make a line of trace as soon as you didn't hit something okay return me back to the default scale of one. So this is the logic, let me zoom on that. And on every tick, can I shrink? It's set by this input action. Yes, please, you can shrink. If you can shrink, okay, reinterrupt me the scale from my default scale to 0.5, sorry, 0.4. And when I release, it will be false. Then on tick, this will make a line of trace. If there is no line of trace has been hit, okay, you are valid to be scale up back your to default your, your default scale. So, if you hit something, you if you, the line of trace will, has been hit, this will be doing nothing. So, you need to make it as a false thing. So, this as the logic, okay. So now I can shrink and go beneath anything. As soon as I release, I can do this. And also, I can, I, as I showed you, you can change maybe when you shrink, you can get the player. For example, you can do this inside this and set max walk speed, for example, to 400. And copy and paste that. As soon you release, let me offset that. As soon you release, return back to 600. So if you compile now and play, the speed, the walking speed will be slow. Okay? Now it's a slow. When you release, now it's back. Okay? So it's up to you. You can do this on like that. As a flip flop, as I showed you, like this one immediately it will transition you from one scale to another or you can do this as a smooth with event tick okay so this is how to make a shrink effect like ls madness inside unreal engine 5 with the blueprint